Hello boys and girls and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host Shenra. And this is Victoria 2, a house divided. Ooh, it's a little bit of lag. That's alright. I haven't played this in a while, so I hope you guys will enjoy today's session. I have the day off, and I have about an hour before I need to get some stuff done in real life. So, I have some coffee. I'm checking over our little empire here. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to see what we can get done today. Hopefully a lot of cool shit, but we'll see. Sometimes sometimes the cool shit just... Oh, there we go. We're back in game. Need to see where I have all my stuff, so let me pause real quick. And uh, let me find where all my troops are and stuff. Hmm, okay, so some of our troops are in weird locations. Got one airplane here, one airplane on Palawan, and another airplane on Sulu. I think we need to merge all these little aeroplaneos. So let's pick them up. Let's see, are you airplanes? Yes, you are. Hmm. Are you the local congregation place? Wait, that's focus. Recruitment. Oh, there we go. Yes, you are the local congregation place. Let's get another airplane. Uno mas, por favor. All airplanes. Mix. Mix. Mm, actually, no, it's just all infantry. Hmm. That is a weird mixture of cannonry. You know what? Let's get some cannons out of there. And send you down to this army. And we'll take... Uh, yeah, we'll trade one for one. And then we'll send the planes down that way. Oh man, we have a lot of troops over here. Oh wow. So these are all soldiers and these are mostly airplanes, yeah. Yeah, let's mix these up a bit. Too much cavalry over here. Yeah, I'm so picky about how these armies are organized. It's a little silly. I shouldn't be so picky. go. Are we allied with Dutch? No, they're allied with Britain. Oh, all these guys are civilized, civilized, civilized. Not much we can do against civilized nations. Acha is not in anyone's sphere. Interesting. And they're not friendly with anyone either. Yeah, but they don't really have anything cool. They do have one oil tile. <laughs> God, I'm so greedy. I'm looking at the world with hungry eyeballs. Nedged is civilized. Who are our allies? Wow. Uh, yeah. Mm, yep. Yep. Central America. Yep. Greece. Yep. Portugal. Sweden. Italy. The USA. France and Russia. Wow. We have some fucking powerful allies. The USA, France, and Russia. Wow. <laughs> wow. You are also allied with Russia, and you are n okay. USA. USA has shit for allies. They got us. That's it. Fucking hell, man. What about Mexico? Other oh, in your sphere. Damn. Okie dokie. UK. Let's see. Germany. Oh goodness. Sweden. Netherlands. Well, none of them really matter except the Netherlands and Germany. Well, I guess Sweden is a big factor too. They are a great power. And they're our ally, too. Are we good buddies? Let's give them some increased relations. Good buddies. Ah, who owns this? Belgium owns Hanover. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Just trying to reorient myself with the state of Spain. We have two armies over here. Really? Is that super necessary? These are all cannons. Holy shit. I mean, cannons are good, but uh, damn, I don't think we need that many of them right in that one spot. Uh, let's send you down here. What do we got over here? All cannons. Shit. What the fuck are you... You know, I probably had a good reason for all this. I just don't remember why I have all cannons. It seems odd to me. 
can go over there. Uh, it's fine, probably. Do we have any just troops? All cannons again. Fuck me, I have no idea why I had all cannons just lying around. All cannons. You know, cannons are great. If you go down the military tree... Uh, army... It, once you get uh, heavy armament... I mean, you, the artillery is just ridiculously good. But we don't have it yet. So our artillery is not ridiculously good. At least not yet. Okay, I, I still haven't finished checking over the state of the empire. I got distracted when I saw these airplanes all alone. But anyway, let's put the speed up. Well, let's put it on two. I'll just unpause. See what happens. Wow, we can support a huge fucking military. Uh, we're not building any navy. Wow, we are building artillery. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> we're building one airplane. Still can't build tanks. We'll get there eventually. Tanks are cool. Come on, then. There you go. Get on to damn boat. Oh, and I was queuing up stuff to build out here in the middle of nowhere. That's why our money went down by 300,000. But that's eh, worth it. Just keep building forts and shit. I can do it here, too. Cool. Anywhere we can build forts. Yes. How's our factories doing? Is there anything I should close? Wow, our factories are making bank. Except that one. It's not that great. It's not that great. But I mean, for the most part, all these factories are doing really well. Okay, that one's not that good. Oh, we're building a telephone factory. Fan-fucking-tastic. More telephone factories. Good. Then we won't have to import that shit anymore. Spanish Bonin is building steamers. There's like nothing. There's like no one living in Spanish Bone, and I don't see the point of building anything there. But whatever. Uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So most of the factories are doing just fine. Happy about that. Okay. Come on up here. We'll pick up this last guy. Here. We'll bring him over to Vietnam. Man, I have missed this game. Uh, yeah, just come up here. I have not played this since December, I think. It's been like two months. The crazy thing is, I, I really did not like this game the first, like, 15 times I played it. I mean, just seriously disliked it. I had no interest in, you know, uh, doing anything with it. But I kept giving it more and more opportunities, and eventually it won me over. I really enjoy this game. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about it. Mainly this, this gigantically short time frame. But, eh, whatever. Wow. Four grand. So yeah, there's a lot of comments coming in from people about how to better run uh, an empire like this in this game. Like, don't uh, bring all of the, uh, what do you call them, colonies up to uh, state status. Because when you do, it lowers your literacy rating, which slows down your tech training and blah, blah, blah. And it also causes you to build factories in places where you don't have a lot of educated citizens. Which means your factories won't have any workers, and the factory's going to be horrible, and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, I mean, I've... I don't know how many playthroughs I've done of this game, but for the most part, it doesn't seem to make any difference at all uh, as far as... Uh, I know the tech training does go slower. That is correct. Because when your literacy rating is, what, 71% or whatever, 
it means that's how fast you're gonna train your tech at your country's potential so if your country has a huge tech potential like we do uh, we're only training it at 70 percent uh, of what we of what you expect based on our potential if it was 100 percent like if, if we just kept our core all these places as uh, the only states in our empire then we, our literacy would probably be at 100 right now because all these places have literacy of 100 I think no, that's that's bureaucracy. Well, whatever. They they probably do have literacy of a hundred. Yeah, they do. So our tech would train faster, but I'm not that bothered by it. I do like having a ton more factories, and a lot of these places have good populations anyway. Ooh, we can build more forts. But yeah, there's lots of good comments coming in, and I I really appreciate it because I I know I'm not that good at this game. I mean, is it is it really fucking obvious that I'm terrible at video games? I try to hide it though, you know. Some people don't even notice how bad I am. I'm like, oh Shen, don't ever stop making videos, Shen. Well, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna stop making videos. I'm certainly not gonna fucking stop playing. And we got Valentine's Day coming up. And then we have, what's next week? Next week we got President's Day, which most people get off of work. I do not. Big fucking surprise. Wow, we made that 300k back super quick. We were at 5 million when I started, and I spent 300k on forts and shit, and I'm still spending money, and we still, wait, we're back up over 5 million again. We make a lot of money in this country. more forts. I do not want Africa to be without forts because most likely most likely the next war that pops up between like uh, Germany and Russia or France and Germany most likely that we're gonna join because I wanna get involved in one of these giant you know world wars at the end of the game and that's gonna be against Germany and the UK that's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass that's their only allies the UK fuck's sake Let's increase relations with them, just for shits and giggles. Austria-Hungary. No, you can go to hell. Just keep building forts. We have another army here? Holy shit. We do indeed. Oh, and one thing I have noticed is Britain is actually a lot better at defending itself now that after the uh, House Divided expansion. That surprised me, but I guess it sort of makes sense. Basically, before a House Divided, Britain would have most of its troops here in British India, and that was it. So if you went to war with Britain, you could easily invade their homeland and just take, you know, like Midlands. And Britain would have very few defenders over here, and you could just take pretty much whatever you want. And I did that so many times because it was just so easy to do. It was ridiculous. Because they would leave their troops over here. They wouldn't bother, you know, bringing them over on boats. And when they mobilized, all their troops over here were absolutely terrible because they were just farmers. So you could just kill them all. Oh, we passed a thousand in industry. Very fucking nice. Are we still building more fa factories? Yes, we are. Cool. Oh, yeah, Italy's going to lose all their shit. Poor Italy. You don't really have any allies, though, Austria-Hungary. wonder if we should go in and kick some Austro-Hungarian ass. Yeah, they have truces with everyone. Let's decrease relations a bit. Why not? We probably have a truce with Russia, don't you? Yes, you do. And France. Mm, whatever. More forts. More forts. A 
NCO training, very good. Let's get some artillery bonuses. Because we have a fuckload of artillery. How's relations with France? Very good. How's relations with Russia? Pretty good. Let's get it up to 200. And how's relations with US? Just want to keep all our buddies as buddyful as possible. So if we do go to war, they'll be more likely to join. And especially if we're defending in a war, they'll be more likely to join. Uh, when you have allies in this game, they are less likely to join you on offense. And they are more likely to join you on defense. And most of that is based on how your relations are at the time. Assuming that whoever yeah, yeah. Assuming that whoever is against you in the war is not an ally of your allies, so if they're not mutual allies, uh, then most of their deciding factor will be based on whether or not they're currently at war, so if they're busy with something, they'll probably not join your war, and whether or not... Uh, I forgot what I was saying. What's up? Yeah, yeah, more militancy is fine. I hate consciousness so much. Oh, telephone's up to number two. Goddamn, people, make some telephones. Whoa, that is an unprofitable winery. Wow. Wow, that's super unprofitable winery. The price of wine must have tanked. That's actually really concerning. Negative 70? Holy shit. Artillery, I definitely want to keep those factories open. A winery doesn't really bother me. I mean, I tempted to close some of these wineries just because they're not profitable. Wow, 146 for luxury chairs? Wow. Luxury furniture is whatever. Yeah, let's close some of these wineries. I mean, if they're not going to make money, then let's focus our efforts. Why are you have a fucking... Hey, you don't need any freaking importance factors. Yeah, get rid of the winery. Bye-bye. Get rid of the winery. Yes, yes. We may, we might have just been overproducing wine. Or maybe the entire world is overproducing wine. It's possible. That would drive prices way down. I don't even read a lot of those messages that pop up anymore. Um, oh yeah, see, wine prices have gone back up a little bit. Still don't need all these wineries. Yeah, all the wineries are doing better now, just because we destroyed a few. Ooh, automobiles. Nice. In Fiji. <laughs> okay. And telephones. Very good. Alright, so the war between Austria and Hungary and Italy is over. Lucca, which only had this one province, now has all of the region. Lol. Anyway, let's uh, lower. Oh, uh, can free people. Uh, I don't want to get infamy though. If an opportunity comes to go to war with them, like maybe joining an ally or something, then we'll do it. We will do it. More forts. I wish there was a button to just improve all the things. But no, we gotta do them individually. What about over here? Oh, 
they're finishing up some things. Very good. Still building. Still building. No one's influencing our... What are they called? Spheres. Hmm. I don't want to dick around with Mexico because that's the USA's sphere. Sweden has no sphere. Germany has the Netherlands. France has Belgium. We've got Portugal. Who has Greece? UK. Eh, it might be worth get, trying to get Greece. Do they have any goods that we want? Fruit and cotton. Well, we export fruits. We probably don't need that. What about in our home? Have these all upgraded? Probably. Yeah. It's all maximum. Maximum. Super surprised we don't have a core on Gibraltar, but oh well. Sneaky Brits. They don't have any army there. They do have factories. Wow, this is very... relaxing. There's nothing to do. Let me put the speed up a bit. Yes, yes, the BBC. Can we do anything cool? Probably not. No. Uh, sympathy strike. More socialists and gain consciousness. I don't like that. Yeah, militancy is better. And yeah, there's nothing I want to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got an ally with Lucka. Who cares? Whatever. Nothing I really want to do here either. So, yeah. Put the speed up again. Gain Kasempa as core. Okay. Oh yeah, I know what we could do. We'll put the speed down. Down to two. We can check on all of these places. How are they doing? 85. 61. 60. 75. 83. 54. And 36. They're coming along. Slowly really want to make Java a state, but damn, that's going to take ages. Their population is gigantic. Fucking hell. Oh, okay, okay, so the military's gone down in Britain. It was at 3,000-something earlier. I mean, they weren't even mobilized, but now it's down. I guess just because when they're at war, the military power goes up just automatically. When they pieced out Austria-Hungary, their military power went down again. So we're about equal with them on military strength, but their industry is just... Okay, welcome to July 1919. Moving right along. have about 18 years left in the game. God, we have a lot of troops. Guards, airplanes, guards, guards and infantry, guards and infantry, guards and infantry, cannons! <laughs> Everyone loves cannons. And airplanes, of course. Chile is weak as hell. Ten military power. Eh, whatever. Not all of our sphere can be awesome. Oil oil found in Abu Dhabi. That's great. 
decrease relations with Germany again. Decrease relations with Britain. And yeah, big surprise, we found oil in Abu Dhabi. That is just awesome. Uh, cotton fields. Eh, whatever, we'll take it. Indirect artillery fire. Okay, let's go for heavy armament, then we get some tanks. Group you guys up. Uh, just come here. It's fine. Eighty-five in Somalia. They're going to be quick. Very good. It'd be nice to have this as an actual state. If we check the literacy rating. It is actually not bad. Humiliate on the UK. Or gain prestige. I like prestige. Yeah, literacy rating is not that bad here. We're getting it up. It's actually really good in Mogadishu. Everywhere else is kind of meh. This place is pretty bad. But it's okay. How's Portugal doing? No industry. Wow. We are building industry like a mother. Yeah, they're getting out of control. They're at almost 5k. Jesus. France at 2k. Russia's at 23. 23 in the U.S. Wow. That is a lot of industry. And we no longer import telephones. Well, we probably still do, just not much. So we're back to just raw resources and tea. Gotta love producing telephones, man. Look at this. Freaking liquor distillery. 109 bucks. Nice. 150 for luxury furniture. Anything our military needs, I'm going to keep subsidizing no matter how bad it gets. Like canned food and artillery. I'm just going to keep making them. We need that shit. And besides, our factories are doing fine. Micronesia. Wow. Uh, hold on, we can do something. Oh, shit. Um, uh... Get some pensions. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was wondering if we, if they auto upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yes, capitalists can expand factories, so we don't have to do it. Good. I'm too lazy to expand factories when there's, when it's a small country. I don't mind doing it. Because, you know, it's not a whole lot of clicking and looking around. But when it's a big empire like this, it's just a pain in the ass. Of course we'll go to the Olympics. Spain not attend the Olympics? Are you crazy? Ooh, what's your project? Oh, said there was one. Still says there's one. Oh, fourth. Oh, they're going too fast. Oh, they're doing railroads. Cool. Keep doing railroads, baby. Nice job. Ah, we can expand. Good, good. Good, good. Yep. You're already building. Very good. You're building. You're building. Everybody's expanding. That's great. We don't own the line islands. That sucks. And you guys are already all built up. Very cool. Put the speed up again. Oh my goodness.
Okay, build some forts. Holy shit, this is one of the late game things that I don't like. It's almost, it becomes really difficult to keep conservatives in the upper house late game. No matter what you do, they just kind of get replaced by socialists and liberals. So we're going to have a tougher time keeping our partido moderado in power. Eh, oh well. Oh god, just do more pensions, that's fine. Gotta love that immigrant attraction. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're losing people every day to the U.S. Let's take a look. Where do we see that? Migrations. Yep. Yep, we lo we've lost 785 people to them in the month of January. So we're losing people to the U.S.A. every day. Where else? Mexico, probably? Nope. Venezuela. Yeah, we're losing 180 people so far this month to Venezuela. Because that's about it, just USA and Venezuela. Nope. We lost 1,000 people to Indoor. Really? Oh, wow, it shows you little arrows of where the people are coming from. Look at that, we have people coming from mainland Spain. They're going to Indoor. They're living there. Wow. I've never seen this map with this much detail. They're coming from Britain, too, and Ireland. Nope. Whoa, where the fuck is that coming from? Canada. Yep, they're coming from Fort Chimo, Canada, all the way down to Indoor. It's amazing. What the fuck is going on in Indoor that's so interesting? They have a nice mix of cultures in there, though. Eh, whatever. Very cool. And everything's expanding. Very nice. France removed the Netherlands from Germany. Aw, poor Germany. They have no sphere anymore. Aw, sad face. Wow, they're actually... They're lower than Sweden on great power status. Wow. I get the feeling there's going to be a war between Germany and either France or Russia. Probably pretty soon here, because Fran I mean Germany's military power is just crap. Wow, they're actually worse than Austria-Hungary somehow. The fuck? Did they delete all their ships or something? God damn. Oil in Dubai. Big surprise. So we now have got oil in Dhabi and Dubai. What about Doha? Nope. Well, these two are still grain, but that's okay. We got two oil provinces now. One of them has anarchic bomb throwers. That's great. That's fantastic. Always like to see that. Getting our industry going. Union busting. Lose consciousness, gain militancy, or everyone gets pissed. Let's just do that. Oh yeah, people were suggesting to lower the taxes on the rich, and that'll cause them to do more projects. And that's true, it will. Um, but I kind of like money, and they give us so much tax, it's amazing. Uh, you know what, let's put it at zero, just for shits and giggles. We'll tax the poor and the middle class more. And we'll see if that improves our uh, factories. It probably will, probably quite a bit. But if it doesn't, I'm going to put the tax back up on them. Because, I mean, they're doing all the railroads for me. They're doing lots of factory building and factory upgrading. I don't have to... I haven't had to do any of that stuff manually, the factory upgrades and factory building. So they're taking care of it, and they were doing that at 100% tax, and now we're losing money. So I'll 
put it at 50%. Mayday Parade, Militancy. Okay, we can do tanks. We just have to wait for the discovery, I think. Uh, da, da, da. Deep defense, industry, steel production. Ah, railroads, definitely railroads. Yeah, 8% of middle class are not getting their needs met, even though we have no tax. Fucking artisans, man. But we are a fucking economical beast. Look at that, everything is at full. And we're, we have tariffs at negative 25%. We're still making bank. Shit is nice. Wow, 416 military. That is just sad, Germany. Oh, rebel time. That was so fast, I didn't even notice what they were. They were some type of rebels. There we go. Communists. Alright, alright. Fucking communists. Uh, we already have some auto hunts up there. I think we should be okay for the auto hunts. We just need to get the uh, island people saved. Island people. Oh, and there's some fucking ones over here. Alright, just hurry up with all that shit. I'm going to hit enter here. I'm just going to hold down enter. Oh, oh. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Oh, yeah, okay. So you guys are done there. Get on the boat. Come over here. Please. There you go. Uh, you're on auto hunt. Yes, you are. That'll be fine. What about down here? No rebels. Ah, oh, fuck. There's rebels on the islands. Of course, there's always rebels on the goddamn islands. Oh, perfect. 25 boats. That should be fine. Uh, 25 transports. That should be fine. Come up here. Any on Java? Nope. Java's nice and peaceful. Africa, there's probably a billion revolts, but we have tons of troops there, so I'm not worried. Are you on auto hunt? Yep. Auto hunt. Auto hunt. Auto hunt. Auto hunt. Auto hunt. Yeah, just gotta make sure they're on auto hunt. We're good. You guys are not hunting. That's ah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. And Spain's fine. I think that's the... We don't have any of these other land, do we? Then We don't have Denmark. No. Okay, that's all our shit. So, should be fine. Just gotta keep pay attention a little bit. Black flags. Oh, fascism. Uh, reactionary or fascist? Let's go fascist. I can't even remember if I've ever actually uh, had a fascist party leading one of my nations in this game. I probably have, I just don't remember. It has been a while since I've played this. A long fucking while. Okay, let's get the next batch of bastards. Are they all disappeared? No, here they are. Kill these guys.
Spanish Red Star. Uh, yeah, Rich Strata, it's fine. Oh, we can do another fucking reform. Uh, subsidies, sure. Some of these guys just disappear before we even get there with the boats. They see us coming, they're like, oh god, okay, we give up. It wasn't for reals, we were just joking, dog. Any more rebels? Yep, over here. God, time's just flying by. It's election time, it's 1921 already. And they disappeared before our boats got there. Alright, fair enough. We can go back to Vietnam. And now we gotta get rid of the guys on the islands up here. So get on the boats. Sabotage. You fired something? Nothing wrong with that. Okay, get back on the boat. And come down to the... Oh, the canaries are fine now. Okay. No revolt on any islands. Yeah, we're good. Okay, you can go back to Cuba. You're still building an army. It's fine and dandy at the same time. And we're good. That was a very quick, easily put down revolt of communists. Oh yeah, what are we supposed to be doing? Moralism. Okay, moralism, 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 moralism. Oh, Germany got the Netherlands back. Unemployed craftsmen in Mindanao. Who cares? This fucking middle class artisans still got not getting their needs met. Crazy motherfuckers. Uh, pro military. Importing sulfur. Interesting. How are we doing on these states? 92. 61. 93. We're getting closer. 81. Uh, protectionism is fine. You know, we could use these national focus points on getting people to support a particular party. Like, we could put a national... Let's just take a look at one of these places. So we could put our, our national focus here on... Uh, supporting the conservative party. And that's, you know, a good option. Daily loyalty change of one thousandth of... <laughs> one thousandth of something. But, you know, if you have places that you need uh, to get more conservative, it's a good, good option or more reactionary, whatever you want. Uh, interventionism. Luxembourg has tanks. Good for you. Yeah, I'm not noticing like a heap load of projects from our capitalists. They're doing whatever they normally do. They haven't done any more or less based on the tax rate. They're getting all their needs met, so that's cool. Artisans are just useless. Fucking hell, you bastards. Do something. Interventionalism. Okay. Shall we host a colonial expedition? Of course. Good. Gain some prestige. We didn't have enough. 
Britain's barely ahead of us on military power. That's fine. We can still build a whole ass load more troops. But we're going to wait until we get uh, tanks. Yep, still can't build tanks. Okay, so the election's done. Conservatives won, but we wound up with a faction that cannot let capitalists expand factories. So let's go back to Partido Moderado. So we can keep expanding factories, or automatically doing it. And we're doing fine. Conservatives still in power. We're still way behind on industry. Britain's at 5,200. My god. And there's like no big wars going on. There's no wars at all. Wow. Could start influencing someone. In fact, that's a good idea since we're at full influence on all of our little buddies. Uh, let's take Greece. Why not? Probably be easier to get somebody else, like Adja. Oh, railroads go up. Good, good. Synthetic polymers sounds good. Should probably get some of these, just for some more points, and we'll get there eventually. There's no rush. Prestige gain just seems so pointless compared to all the other techs we could do that actually give us stuff. Because we're already number one in prestige. So the capitalists should be going bonkers. Yep, they're building railroads everywhere. That's cool. We won at the Olympics. Very good. Yeah, our capitalists are having a field day with that shit. Ah, oh, we were banned from Greece. Alright, we have to find somewhere else to influence. Hmm. <laughs> China? No, they're a world power. Well, they will be a world power. Wow. Germany's gonna fall? Oh my god, we might be able to sphere Germany. That'd be fucking epic. Hmm, I don't want to piss off the U.S. by going for Japan. Let's try Johor. I mean, they're not special in any way, but we can try. Oh, let's do Nedged. Let's do Nedged. Fuck Johor. Let's do Nedged, yeah. Where's Johor? There it is. Go away. I'm really surprised there's nothing going on. No conflict at all. Everyone's focused on building their economy or something. Wow, Germany's down to number 10. Their military is just so bad. Ninety-nine percent. Oh yeah. Come on, baby, you can do it. Fascist. Yeah, fascist. Go, go, fascist. Middle class. Whatever. I don't care. Germany has fallen in status to China. Alright, let's influence Germany. See if we can get them in our sphere. That would just be so amazingly epic. And let's stop influencing anyone else. Nedge, don't care anymore. 
I just want Germany. We can't turn off Greece yet. Spanish Red Star, whatever. UK allied with Austria-Hungary, that's fantastic, because Austria-Hungary sucks. And it looks like no one is influencing Germany. They're going to let us take it. Awesome. Oh my god, having Germany on our side. Oh man, that'd be so nice. Let's increase relations. Okay, that's fine. Yep, nobody's influencing Germany. Oh, France is bothering us now. God damn it. Okay, we can now turn Somaliland into a state. Fantastic. Get rid of your focus. Let's find a new place to put our focus. Java. You know what? Let's give it a shot. It's going to take for fucking ever. But let's give it a shot. Go Java. We should be almost done over here. We are almost done. Cool. 96. for the colonies, of course. <laughs> I still can't believe Germany has fallen so far. Not complaining, but uh, it's going to make for a very... It's going to make a very weird endgame without Germany as one of the world's powers. Uh... Piss off aristocrats or piss off cap... or piss off capitalists. Uh, we'll piss off aristocrats. USA removed Tibet from United Kingdom sphere. Cool. Oh, Germany's communists. Cool. Russia is still a monarchy. That's fine. Ottomans monarchy. We are sort of a monarchy, not really. Okay. Uh, yeah, reinforcement. Okay, Russia's working on Germany. They're gaining it faster than we are. Probably because they have good relations. The better relations you have, the faster you gain uh, influence with the nation. Hopefully we can sphere them, though. That would be just epic. I don't think I've ever had Germany in my sphere in any of my playthroughs of this game. So that would be a first. Oh, we can stop influencing Greece. Good. There we go. Russia's still getting more influence than us. Well, they're getting it faster, I mean. Oh, 
god, now there's three people going for it. Shit. Oh god, France is going to beat us. Shit. Damn it, France, I don't want to compete with a fucking ally over Germany. Fucking France. Yeah, they're way ahead now. Damn it. Okay, looks like we're not going to get Germany after all. That really blows. But I think uh, now is a good time to end it. We're at January 1923. Wow, you just blew through four years so fast. And nothing happened at all. Wow. But I appreciate you guys hanging in, in there with me. We didn't get anything done today. Uh, we've uh, got some factories going. We're improving our industrial score. Wow, 81 bucks, 2 bucks, 15 bucks. We're doing great. Got rid of some wineries, and we're building more profitable stuff like glass. Anyway, this is Shen from Shenplay signing off. You guys have a great fucking fantastic day, and I will see you next time in the lands of Spain. Adios, everybody.